be on the same wavelength. The idiom, be on the same wavelength, is used to describe a situation where two or more people have a mutual understanding or are thinking in a similar way. It originated from the field of radio communication, where wavelengths are used to transmit signals. When two radio receivers are tuned to the same wavelength, they can receive and understand each other's signals clearly. In a similar sense, when people are on the same wavelength, they can communicate effectively and understand each other easily. Here are a few examples to help illustrate the meaning of this idiom. 1. Sarah and John have been working together for years, so they are always on the same wavelength. They can anticipate each other's thoughts and ideas without even speaking. 2. During the meeting, the team members were discussing different solutions, but Mary and Tom were on the same wavelength. They both suggested a similar approach to solve the problem. 3. When you meet someone for the first time and instantly connect with them, it means you are on the same wavelength. You understand each other's jokes, share similar interests, and have a natural flow of conversation. Four. In a successful partnership, it is crucial for business partners to be on the same wavelength. They need to have a shared vision, goals, and understanding of each other's strengths and weaknesses. 5. Teachers and students who are on the same wavelength have a productive learning environment. The teacher can easily convey information, and the students can grasp and apply the concepts effectively. In summary, the idiom, be on the same wavelength, is used to describe a situation where there is a mutual understanding or similar thinking between individuals. It implies effective communication and a shared understanding of ideas, thoughts, or goals.